Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We're still on the day two trial ladder in With Turnabout Corner. the intellect. Corner. The intellectual Wesley Stickler. Ugh. Yes. So we just learned he was apparently, um... Lying. lying about his cell phone, so yeah, let's just get back to this. Wait a minute, what's the meaning of this? This cell phone was found yesterday, in the Maractus Clinic garage. The Maractus? Why, that's where the victim lived! Yeah, th that's impossible! <laughs> Mr. Stickler, you lied to the court, didn't you? If your cell phone is here, how could you have called the police? <laughs> It's true, I didn't have my cell phone that night. That is why it could be said that I called the police from a public payphone. A payphone? So you didn't call on your cell phone after all. Just where was this payphone located, Mr. Stickler? Well, to indicate it with a startlingly high degree of accuracy, it was right around here. That's quite a ways from the park. But, but why did you lie? There can only be one reason. He didn't want the court to know he had lost his cell phone. Because it was found... in the victim's garage! W w w what are you saying? Mr. Stickler, you broke into the Maractus Clinic garage on the night of the murder! This cell phone tells all! Here we go. Now we got our good music. B but that's ridiculous! That makes it sound like... like I snuck into this fellow's garage to commit some crime! As though I were trying to kill him! Well, Dr. Maractus was killed that night. Well, well yes, but no! This, this line of reasoning has to be against the rules! Yes, it's true, I lost my cell phone! But you can't prove that I lost it that night! Hmm... Well, Mr. Justice? If that cell phone was dropped the night of the murder, it does raise considerable suspicions as to a connection with the crime. Here's the thing. We know that it had to be the night of the murder because if it was before, it would have gone crunch <laughs> with Fair the enough. car. Now's your chance, Apollo. Connect Mr. Stickler to the crime. Oh, he's already connected it enough. I just have to prove it. Well, do I have a piece of evidence that can do the job? Can I prove the cell phone was dropped on the night of the murder? Yeah. Duh. Evidence. If only I had some evidence, it'd make this whole thing a lot easier. Care to explain the lack of confidence smeared across your face, Mr. Justice? Well, we smacked the wall. Oh, Air Forehead, I think it should be clear by now. No evidence means no case. Ah! I guess this is it, then. Time to go for broke! The evidence that proves that the cell phone was dropped on the night of the murder is... Underwear! No. Hmm. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? No comment, Air Judge. No dice, Mr. Justice. Penalty. Apollo, remember where we found the cell phone? If it had fallen on the ground before that night... That's right! The cell phone would have been crushed! I have good memory. Yeah. Your Honor, one more chance, please! Mr. Justice, keep this up and you'll run yourself out of a life's worth of chances. So, cell phone... Found beneath a car... I think it's just the cell phone? Oh, no. It's not. No, it's the mirror. It's the mirror. That's a side view mirror? As it so happens, Dr. Maractus's car was in an accident. That took place the night of the murder. An accident? An accident. It happened a little after 9 p.m. just outside of People Park, our murder scene. Dr. Maractus's car hit a pedestrian. Wh what are you trying to say? From the absence of a mirror, it's clear that the car was parked after the accident. Which means it was parked there after 9pm on the night of the murder. If your cell phone had been dropped before the car was parked in that garage, then it would have been crushed. After all, it was lying on the ground right under the wheel! <laughs> Ergo, Mr. Stickler, the only time you could have dropped this in the garage was after 9pm the night of the murder in the park. I like how the book flies open <laughs> as if, like, he's casting a magical spell. Yeah. 
Mr. Stickler, you know what this means. You did break into the victim's garage that night. This is most unexpected, Mr. Justice. Are you naming the witness as a suspect in the murder of Palmeractus? No! Stop! This is too much! This can't be happening! P -p 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 prosecutor say something! I suppose it is worth saying this. No connection has been found between Wesley Stickler and Palmeractus. That is, other than this. See if they have each other's phone contacts. I believe our next testimony will be most revelatory. Is the witness prepared? <laughs> yes, your honor! I know that face. That's the face of guilt. Oh, there is another testimony. Oh, Stickler's Truth. That night, yes, I went to the supermarket. I must have dropped my cell phone on the way back. And through the garage? <laughs> and when I was walking through the park, I happened to witness the crime. I saw the killer, the victim, the stand, all as clear as day. It was him. I saw the defendant at the scene. Well, I probably know which statement to press, but there's a million <laughs> things wrong with that. First of all, you don't just be like, oh, I'm going to the supermarket and walk through some man's garage <laughs> and drop your phone. That doesn't yeah. happen. <laughs> yes, but the cell phone was lying in a garage. Ah, uh, yes. Well, as you can see, my model of cell phone has a defect. It is given to rolling. It is quite a pain when I drop it alongside the road, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous... <laughs> Like, even I'm not that ridiculous. <laughs> I love how he says it with such confidence, too. It's just given it's to... It's just given to, to rolling. rolling. <laughs> it's quite a pain. Looks like a normal cell phone to me. In any case, Mr. Justice, the cross-examination, please. That's funny. My bracelet didn't react at all during the testimony. His nervous habit must not have been acting up. I didn't sense anything either, actually. Looks like you're on your own this time around. Right, no problem. I hope. Here comes justice! This one, though, is so painfully obvious. In my eyes. <laughs> Stickler's truth. I must say, I feel like a lot of the voices I'm doing in this game aren't great, but I feel like I'm nailing Oh, Wesley you're nailing Stickler's him. voice. <laughs> you're nailing him. Part of it is, Apollo Justice is kind of like Phoenix Wright. I know. And then, like, the gal that he's with is kind of like Maya. I always forget her name. I keep wanting to say Tracy. Tracy Wright. That's it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hold I it. was going to give her a really, really weird voice, but then I figured I'm she's going to be a big character, and I didn't want to do that. I was wondering if you would give her like the Luna Love good voice. It was kind of similar to that at the beginning, and then it kind of like went Valley Girl Luna Love good. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. I'm searching Go for a crumple horn snorkack. <laughs> Bring on the so you went shopping. That means... You were holding a grocery bag when you witnessed the murder taking place? I kind of gave the Luna Lovegood voice to, uh... Angel Star. Angel Star. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yes, of course. How about a box lunch with my famous squid rolls? <laughs> squid wheels. In squid rolls. <laughs> Incidentally, the prosecution has received no report of this domestic detail. I think that's the only voice you're kind of screwing up, is I can't. I know, I'm sorry. He needs to sound like suave. Hey, Fräulein. <laughs> kind of. Like, no, picture... Okay. But, but he's like, objection! Objection. I'm kind of giving him, like... Uh, objection. Like, like I'm trying to give him, like, Suave meets Demix from Kingdom Hearts 2. Demix? Dance, water, dance! <laughs> oh my gosh, no! I just remembered that boss. Okay, but, like... I look at him and then I hear like, oh, he's a band like guy. I'm like all band. the girls, yeah, I'm in a band. Band. <laughs> um, but when I hear that like there's all these girls that love him, he like has to be the most suave guy. I would. Feel all right, like. I'll tr I'll try to maybe, do a better job. Not. I'm sorry. It's not. People. It's not your fault. It's like no. It kind, it's hard. It kind it's, of is. It's kind of hard to. Do. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Stickler, can you explain yourself? I'm just trying to think of the best person to- No! Uh, I mean, yes. I did go shopping, really. I walked around the supermarket trying out the free samples. It's a deeply spiritual time for me. Same, man. Same. <laughs> I actually can't fault him for w that. Walk into Costco I walked like... into Myra with my Costco card <laughs> and I ate all the free samples. I don't know why we made I'm, that up. I'm just a poor college student, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> At I, Ivy University? <laughs> I'm sure the store clerks would disagree. Do you think sampling free food counts as a religion? <laughs> it's like uh, when I played Civ Five with Ikotolat and I made my own religion food worship. 
What? Just because I named all of my cities like Taco Bell, Pizza Hut. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen you play that very much. You haven't seen me play Civ Five at all. Oh, I've only seen you play Civilization Four. Four. Yeah, yeah, with Gandhi, who's ridiculous. Yeah, he's a ridiculous in every game. Yeah. In any case, that night, I sampled to my heart's content and was on my way back home. Yes. I must have dropped my cell phone on my way back. I think the fact that he's turning Sweaty. the pages there is where you might do it. That's when you pass in front of the Maractus Clinic. And have it roll. Why, yes, that's correct. That was a pretty suspicious pause there. Mr. Stickler, do you think you could be a bit more specific? Please show us the exact route you took on the night of the murder. Yeah, point it out on the map. Uh, of course. The supermarket is here, along the main road. Good to know. My way home from there takes me past the Maractus Clinic. This is probably when I dropped my cell phone. And had it roll into some <laughs> man's garage. Yet, woe was I. I walked on unaware of my loss. Okay. And he goes into People Park. And walked right into that fateful park. And when I was walking through the park, I happened to witness the crime. Okay. Which entrance did you enter the park from? Well, to be exact, one might say I went in from the entrance entrance closest to the Maractus Clinic. <laughs> the same entrance our victim used. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he also kind of has a faux German accent as well. He does, and that's what's hard about it. I'm trying to think of, like, some guy that has, like, a suave voice in another game. It's, it's not a Cabanella voice. No. No, it's not. But it's like... I should just try to do like the Achtung Fräulein. You should do There, this. There you go. There. <laughs> Part of it is you're being a little loud, and he's kind of like the chill out, baby. Like chill out, of, baby. I'm Cabanella. <laughs> but not like, but yeah. but not with that voice. Did you notice anything when you entered? Wheel marks from a noodle stand, for instance? I have no recollection of such a thing, no. Yet, though I might have missed the tracks, I could not miss what happened next. <laughs> I am a keen observer of the obvious, you might say. Uh, that's not that good. I saw the killer, the victim, the stand, all as clear as day. This part of the testimony is the key. I know it. Should I press him about the killer, the victim, or the noodle stand? You should press him about the noodle stand because the noodle stand, he would have passed it on the way, which means he either would have seen it there or he would have seen it at the park. You're actually right. That is what we have to do. Are you sure you remember the killer clearly? How many times must I repeat myself? It was him, that unscrupulous fox-like fellow in the defendant's chair. He's got a point. Hey, worky. He was looking even more unscrupulous at the time, no less. I hope hmm. there's more children in this game. Because I want to voice them. <laughs> oh, that's a weird request. I don't know. Hmm, yes, he does look a bit like those trickster foxes in Legends of Yore. I guess or the victim's identity is already old territory. Time to ask something new. He looks like he hopped out of Fire Emblem. No Fire Emblem character I know of, it looks like a fox. Oh, you haven't played Birthright. <laughs> no, I haven't. Last Fire Emblem game I played was Awakening. Really? I, s I saw him at the scene. I guess that would make sense. Yeah, in terms in, of release in, date. In um, Birthright, the animal Are... <laughs> character... The animal character is um, a fox. Or no, a Kitsune. Oh, a Kitsune. Which oh. is a fox. A Keaton. And then he, like, transforms and he's like, Woo! And then he's got, like, a tail. And Weird. It's basically, but only when I touch my stink stone. <laughs> Are you sure it was the defendant? Stop asking me the same questions over and over. This isn't some kind of makeup test. What's a makeup test, Apollo? Nothing a good student like you has to worry about. Time to find his weak spot and press it till he breaks. His habit isn't acting up. Which means he isn't lying. Hmm, I was kind of relying on my bracelet to get me through this one. But he's pretty unsettled. The odds are really high that you can get something out of him. That gleam in your eyes. You're a gambler's daughter through and through. I'm a magician, thank you very much. The gambler. You could see the victim quite clearly, too. Oh, clear as clear can be, I assure you. I see. So, um... How do you look? How? How do you mean how? Be specific. Um, I mean, in general. The defense will refrain from straining to come up with questions. Find the question that lies in your heart and ask that. 
Y yes, your honor. Great, a judge who moonlights as a self-help guru. I'm glad I was right. You were. Do you happen to remember the noodle stand? Quite well, yes. How weird it was for someone to steal an actual stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, but it had wheels. For a student of the sciences, keen observation and healthy curiosity are vital. I remember everything. I could even read the sign. I believe it said... Uh, <gasps> noodle. Yes, that was it. For remembering something quite well, it sure took you a while to tell us. And thank you for telling us that a noodle stand sells noodles. Very enlightening. <laughs> well, Mr. Justice. Hmm, what about that sign? Could that be important? Yes. <laughs> How could the sign matter at all? We know it's a noodle stand. <laughs> Very well, please continue with the testimony. So the sign on the noodle stand said noodle. It appears the defense has just obtained a vital piece of testimony. Is this noodle stand's broth really that delicious? I'll have to go sample the wares one of these days. I think that's worth adding to the testimony as well. Hmph. <laughs> Whatever sort of noodles that stand sells, it can't match up to Ivy U's cafeteria. Wow! <laughs> Some apply to the school merely for a taste of our smart noodles. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a taste of that myself. <laughs> wow. That, so why did you attend Ivy University? The noodles. <laughs> I even remember the sign on the stand pulling the victim was... <laughs> it said noodle. <laughs> pulling the victim. <laughs> no! It's no! dragging me! <laughs> <laughs> that would it's be like a way more interesting case. Yeah. <laughs> so the sign said noodle. You're absolutely sure? There we go. Let me just kiss my lips three times. <laughs> For a second, I thought the game was gonna, like, self-lock. Self-lock? Let or, me uh, be yeah. frank. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, the word unsure isn't even in my dictionary. Nor the word uncertain or... <laughs> that, that is the best response <laughs> to anything. <laughs> he was wasting time looking that stuff up? <laughs> Noodle, eh? I like that. It tells you what you're getting. No nonsense. It tells me a lot more than that, actually. Why are you smiling like that, Apollo? So do you see the problem oh, with it? Well, yeah, it said Eldoom. It appears that I am illiterate. <laughs> I see everything backwards. <laughs> and you're absolutely sure that the sign read Noodle? Why, just last week, my professor offered me this praise. At least you have good eyesight, Stickler. I'll give you that. <laughs> it read, without a doubt, Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is that pity I see in your eyes? Okay, I'm liking this guy more and more yeah. as I do the voice. He's more ridiculous with that voice. <laughs> Let's take a look at our map, shall we? Go for it, sir. So you're claiming that when you saw the sign, you were standing... Here, was it? Although it would have been a bit hard to read the sign from this spot. You, you think so? Mr. Stickler, I'd like you to please take another look at the stand. And to carefully read what the sign says. See? The sign actually states the name of the stand's owner. Eldunes. Uh, El- El- Inconceivable. I'm certain it was definitely Noodle. For sure. Positive. I'm afraid your professor was wrong about that eyesight. And also, that means he was definitely at the noodle stand because his thing <laughs> just says- I buy noodles all the time. His thing just says, no, <laughs> up top. I wouldn't be so quick to jump to that conclusion. The sign he saw changes everything. The witness says the sign said noodle, but he saw it wrong and he saw it right. He saw it right. It's true. The answer is quite simple. The witness saw the sign wrong. That would seem to be the case, yes. Apollo, the only thing that changes the, is the witness's eyesight. Eh? Uh? Okay, so you've proven the witness has bad eyesight and is overconfident. But that just proves he's a bad witness. It doesn't solve the case. How rude! I have not made a single mistake, I assure you. I'm a student of science. Errors are not tolerated in my field, I'll have you know. Yeah, you also look like you're gonna cry, sir. <laughs> he always looks like he's going to cry. It's probably because of all the mascara he's wearing. I had the sudden realization that Apollo Justice looks like one of my friends. Which friend? Not that you know, you don't oh, know. Oh, never mind. Him. Okay, remember the kid who um, uh, hit my arm with the door in class? Oh yeah. His brother looks like him. He wears the same watch 
and he's got the same That's not shirt, a watch, that's and, a bracelet. Oh, well, it looks that's like a bracelet. watch. And he's got the weird hair, too. Oh, wow. It's super strange. I just wish that Christoph Gavin looked like your friend Gavin. No, my friend Gavin doesn't look anything like him. So what if Mr. Stickler is right to be so overconfident? And he is right about the sign. What does that mean for the entire case? What would you say if I told you that there is one spot from which the sign would be read the way Mr. Stickler claims? What? Mr. Justice, show us this spot! The witness- the witness actually viewed the stand from this location! Oh, um, crap. He was hiding in the tree! No. <laughs> the witness was standing here, on the opposite side- Oh, that actually worked! <laughs> in the tree! <laughs> huh, how do you know that? When viewed from the south, the sign on the stand reads L Dunes, as we know. However, Observe the other side of the stand! Oh! This side says Noodle! Exactly! The name of the stand is split between the front and back signs! Mr. Stickler, you lied to the court! You witnessed the crime from the northern side of the park, not the south! Hey! You got me! So what? So you're British! Oh, that was British, not German, sorry. No, it's cool! That's not Edgeworth. Oh <laughs> so my. what? What does it matter if he saw the killing from the north or the south side? It makes no difference at all. <laughs> He's right! Travel far enough to the south and you'll end up going north! <laughs> Even on a global scale, directions are utterly without meaning! <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, maybe he's right. What does it change? I just realized I've never done a fake British accent for any of the characters I've voiced. Maybe I'll do that eventually. It changes everything, Apollo! Trucy? Remember his testimony from before. Though, to be honest, I'm a little scared of where this is leading. Ugh, this is weird. Oh, now it looks better. Okay. The killer and the victim are facing each other here. Then, at the moment of the, the killer raises his weapon, Mr. Stickler shoots, or shouts. <laughs> <laughs> I had an airsoft gun in my hand. I was just having fun. <laughs> at which point, the victim turns his head to look, and the killer fires the pistol. That's why the bullet hit him in the right temple. No contradictions, right? Right, but if Mr. Stickler was standing on the north side of the park, that reverses the whole scenario. Completely. If Mr. Stickler shouts from where he is now, cease this at once, <laughs> and the victim looks in his direction, The bullet would have hit his left temple. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. In other words, someone standing at point K couldn't shoot the victim in his right temple. It's impossible. Th that's right. So, now that we know that I'm way smarter than Apollo <laughs> Justice, um, Mr. Stickler was standing on the northern side, the wound location takes on an entirely different meaning. Indeed. You are absolutely correct, Fräulein. What, what meaning? The entry wound was on the right side of the victim's head, correct? I'm sorry for everyone. I can't do Clavier's voice consistently. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody knows at this point that I couldn't do Maggie Bird's voice. I changed it like five times. Clavier's a bigger character than that. But... Maggie Bird was in like three cases. Two. Okay, well, practically And one of them three. was the first case. One of them was the first case and one of them was a big case. Yeah. Well, the right side of the victim's head is north. North? Oh! But that's where the witness, Wesley Sticker, was standing. Correct. So if he was standing to the north, then the only person here who could have shot the victim in the right temple was Mr. Stickler himself! Yeah! <laughs> Are we gonna get through this in one trial period? Uh, order! 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 Wow, the apple didn't far, fall far from the tree. F far! She's flipped the whole case on its head while I was still figuring it out! Clarify one point for me, if you would, Air Forehead. What now? Are you truly accusing this college student of murder? Well, I can't say he exactly looks innocent, but something still doesn't feel right. I just can't picture him as the real killer. 
No, please! Looks aside, I'm really a nice guy! All my friends say so! No friends. <laughs> He's just like, all of my imaginary friends say That's so. That point. I'm sure he has friends. It's a small science department. I would never be friends. It's a small literature like department. <laughs> Not that I'm... Ouch. Okay, here's the thing. He just seems very like, I am the most intelligent, smart being <laughs> in the I don't room. make mistakes. I don't make mistakes. And Except when I testify in court. <laughs> sure, but like, you don't want to be friends with someone who's like so smart. You don't want to be friends with someone who's a braggadocier. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the word. Also, his voice annoys me if he actually had that voice. <laughs> and he speaks so slow where you're like, hey, like, do you want to go get like, I don't know. Dairy a Queen? Bar Dairy Queen? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say, with a hundred percent certainty, but yes! yes. <laughs> You're like, no! Shut <laughs> Let's up. hear what the defense has to say. What are you going to do, Justice? Should I really accuse Mr. Stickler? Accuse of murder, accuse of another crime. No accusation. Well, no accusations, stupid. <laughs> no accusations, Your Honor. Well, I'm glad that's sorted out. <laughs> Apollo, you're sure you're doing the right thing? You'll end up convicting Waki if you let Mr. Stickler off the hook. Ah, you think? Oh, uh, wait, Your Honor, let me rethink first. If you must. Wow! <laughs> Let's hear what the defense has to say. No penalty. All right, so do you think he's the murderer, or do you think okay. he did something else? Here's the thing. Because, I don't, I don't know if he murdered him, but I think he absolutely broke into his garage. Okay. I think he absolutely did, because his, his phone's there. Yeah. And also... I just had to have that gold-painted scout. Here's the other thing. Where the phone was placed would <laughs> oh, mean oh. that he was the one who drove the car. <laughs> Marty, hang on. There is the weird skeleton in his in the Maractus garage. What if it's like, he stole that from Ivy University. I was hired to steal it back. <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be weird. No, see, I think because, okay, when you get out of the car and you drop your phone, where does it end up? It usually ends up right by the wheel where it is. So I oh, think, you think, I think he what took happened, his car for a joyride? I think he took the car for a joyride, hit the person, was like... Hit Phoenix right. Hit Phoenix right. Oh my, <laughs> I dare say that was atrocious. Parks the car, <laughs> pretends to go to the supermarket and get his samples with his Costco card. Goes back through the park, because then, then it looks like nothing happened, except for, like, the <gasps> obvious. That's amazing. I think that's what happened. <laughs> that's amazing. I oh. think that's exactly what happened. I think he either joyrided it or he went out with a purpose with that car. Okay, so you don't think it's murder? I don't think it's murder. <laughs> I accused Mr. Stickler of murder. Are you quite sure, Air Forehead? No. Y yes, yes. Accuse of murder. Only three words, but a very, very long sentence. You have evidence worthy of such a bold accusation, I hope? No. Um, maybe I'd better think this over some more. <laughs> a wise decision. He's, he's a nice prosecutor, he's not penalizing us, really. Oh, yeah. By now, Francis And he's not like, are you stupid? <laughs> I don't think Wesley Stickler is a killer, but he's not innocent either. His unusual silence tells me that much. Mr. Stickler, you seem unusually quiet. Tell us why, now. The, the, the word confession isn't in my dictionary! <laughs> tis, 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 care forehead. I'm afraid it falls to you to elucidate Air Stickler's silence. Mr. Justice, you did say you were accusing the witness just now for a crime other than murder. Your reason? The court's all ears. Gah! I know he's guilty of something, but what crime other than murder is there? <laughs> um, clearly, that's, that sums up the Phoenix Rise series very accurately. It's like, what other kind of murder is there aside from bl blunt force trauma to head? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, shouldn't we, like, cover some other criminal charges like blackmailing or, like, perjury, obstruction of justice, forgery, growing illegal marijuana Felony. in your uncle's shed? <laughs> no. In your uncle's shed. <laughs> as you do. No. Yeah. Okay, I, I agree. They, they definitely <laughs> need some more ideas. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to do a rape case in Phoenix No, Wright. not really. I honestly thought they already had covered that, to be honest, in, like, a 3DS one. I didn't... No. Okay. I thought they could have, potentially. Or one like, of them is rated M, but it's for something other than that. Is it, like, child... Actually, they already I won't, had, I won't they spoil already had anything. kidnapping. Maybe it was, like... I won't spoil abuse. anything more. I don't know. It's pretty dark. Do I have evidence that shows his involvement in some other crime? Your evidence? The court's all eyes, Mr. Justice. 
Show us evidence that points to the witness's involvement in a crime. So you're saying it, he stole, not the mirror, but he stole the car that the mirror he was attached to? That was my idea. Aww. I like your idea way better. Than what he actually did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, indeed, my phone actually does roll. <laughs> Something tells me this isn't one of those good silences. Something else to say, Mr. Justice? Um, one more chance, please? By all means, but your effort wasn't wasted. Look, a brand new penalty. <laughs> I like how ridiculous this judge gets. Now please reveal your thoughts to the court. Ah, I know he's guilty of something, but there's no crimes other than murder. Um. Oh my gosh, was he the panty thief? <laughs> you think so? Wait, <laughs> just try it. <laughs> the evidence is this. Are you kidding me? What is that? Women's underwear? <laughs> hey, those are mine! Oh my gosh. I need him to just turn completely red. Like Maribel. Like Maribel. Yeah, like Maribel. D don't look at me like that! Oh my gosh. What if we picked the other- Order, order, order! Mr. Stickler? Well, I can't say this comes as a shock. It's not what it seems! By Pythagoras Kafiro, I swear it! <laughs> <laughs> On the night of the murder, just past 9 p.m., a young girl catches a panty snatcher red-handed. Bravely, she gives chase, but the snatcher flees. And he hides himself in no other place than the Maractus Clinic oh garage. Aha! Uh -huh. I forgot about the panties until we gave to the evidence the second <laughs> yeah. time. I'm like, oh my gosh! Incidentally... These panties were found in the exhaust pipe of the car there. Presumably, he was trying to hide the evidence of his crime. Ergo, while you may not be a murderer, you are guilty of panty snatching in the first degree. Please, hear me out! It's not what it looks like! Any dude who's a panty snatcher is like a freaking pervert. <laughs> order! 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 Mr. Stickler, you should be ashamed! It's not what it seems! <laughs> what the heck is wrong with him? Okay, the the weird thing, this reminds me of like <laughs> It reminds, reminds you of This reminds me of the weirdest story. There was one time Does it involve stealing someone's panties and shoving them into a car muffler? No. But <laughs> this reminds me I there was like one time I went to a Victoria's Secret to get leggings, not to get panties, but I was waiting in line near the, like, the front, and there was this dude behind me who had, like, 40 pairs of women's underwear. Maybe he's bag. buying them for his... Uh, <laughs> you don't buy 40 pairs of underwear for anyone! <laughs> for his many girlfriends. <laughs> I don't no, know. No, he didn't look like a dude who would have many girlfriends. I'll That's... say that much. <laughs> Ouch. No, he didn't. I was just kind of like, you made the trek up here for... Women's underwear. Why are okay, you I, it was pretty four, weird. Forty pairs is a little strange. It was. A, he literally because I saw him at the front of the store too. He was just like going through the bargain bin, like throwing them in a bag. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> this is a. I will say it takes guts as a guy to go to in alone into a Victoria's, Victoria's Secret, Secret and run it through still, the bargain bin it's pants. <laughs> it still takes guts to go in there, even if you're like with a wife or a girlfriend. Like I've gone in there before and seen like the world's greatest husbands and boyfriends just like I'm uncomfortable <laughs> like just hanging out so are we to understand that you were silent not because you were guilty of murder but because you lacked the courage to admit your theft of this girl's undergarments um, perhaps you are not originally aware my school's name is originally written IV I stands for intelligent V stands for valiant C your point I'm not done no I'm a major in the science department and what does science teach if not curiosity? Oh my god. Yes, we of the IVU science department are valiantly curious. No challenges to daunting and no greater challenge to a science than a mystery. Come on, you're talking about a girl's panties here. No, you do not understand. A mystery of the un is the unknown and the unknown is unacceptable. And my friends, when it comes to mysteries, those panties are the promised land. What? <laughs> From the moment I first laid eyes on them, I was compelled to investigate. For science! I mean, I guess... A full-sized car tire was not- It was only the first mystery those panties revealed. Uh, tire? Yes, I saw her do it! She pulled the tire out of those panties. But that's not all! 
First there was a ch tire, then a stew pot, he went and to a her frozen show. chicken. Oh, one mystery after another. It was, it was magic. Oh, I remember now. He's one of the regulars at the audience in the Wonder Bar. Huh? He's talking about my magic panties trick. I mean, I props to him to not being pervy. But still. <laughs> but still, that's also like, why, dude? Come on. Why, dude? Why? I just don't understand. A broom from a pair of panties? It mocks the very laws of physics. <laughs> a a broom? broom and a frozen chicken, Trucy? Whatever happened to doves and bunny rabbits? M Mr. Stickler, you stole this girl's panties to understand a magic trick? You say panties, but they are so much more than that. <laughs> For me, they are an object of serious study. <laughs> yeah, you're, begin you're beginning to understand why, like, they spend way too much time on panties in this I case. mean, but this is funny. <laughs> I guess. The only reason this isn't nearly as bad is because he's not a perv. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it's weird. I think it would be better if he was, like... <laughs> Maybe not. His eyes. Maybe not. I was trying to be His like, maybe it was eyes. better if he was like younger, and he's just like, I've never seen it. Like, how does this work? But because he's a college student, I'm like, dude, it's a magic. It's trick. a magic trick. But bro. I'm a science student. I can't understand anything that I can't see with my own eyes. Like, have you ever had a girlfriend ever? Not that. No. That's, not that. That's a... <laughs> no, he's not. No, he wouldn't. His eyes are sparkling. I wonder. There's been a recent rash of panty snatchings in the area. Were they all you? I- I am sorry, but I did it for science! Each time I spied a pair of panties flapping in the breeze, I thought maybe, maybe this would be the pair that would elucidate the mystery. Even that night as she chased me through the streets, I wept tears of joy. Perhaps this is the night I will seize the truth that lies within those panties, yet woe was I. For once those lacy heart patterns slipped through my fingers, I- Still, that leaves one feet unexplained. Ah, you refer to our witness's other lie, yes? The witness claimed he saw the crime from the south, but was in fact in the north. Indeed. Would anyone care to explain why he lied about that? Be my guest, heir forehead. Me? Why does defense attorneys have to hear- uh, explain everything? <laughs> we have to explain everything! <laughs> the truth games are kind of boring in that regard. <laughs> Did I not hear you correctly? Did you not say you do not accuse the witness of murder? I kind of like my obnoxious voice for him a little. You can do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> Why then did the witness lie about his location at the time of the shooting? That one's better. Or have you no idea? Apollo, there's something about the way the diagram is arranged right now. When you think about it, right near where Mr. Stickler was standing, isn't there a... Well, Mr. Justice, what say you? Do you have any evidence to show why the witness lied about his vocation? More panties. I fail to see how your attorney's badge relates to the witness's fabrication. As do I, but I'm sure it does! Somehow, somewhere! It appears the fabrication was yours, Mr. Justice. Penalty! Somebody help! You're welcome to show us another piece of evidence. Um... You think the bloomers? Well, okay. Because, uh, uh, show me the map first, actually. Map. Boom. There's the Nothing. park. Oh, crap. Ugh. Oh, crap, indeed. Oh, crap. Okay, the reason I say this is because if he was seeing it from the other location, there was that trash can with the panties in it. Oh, good call. The evidence that shows why he lied is this. What? More panties? How many panties are you carrying in your pocket, Air Forehead? These are the laughs! Honest! <laughs> These were found in a trash can at the park. Looking at the diagram, we can see that the trash can was right next to where the witness stood. Mr. Stickler, you didn't. Alas, I'm a failure as a scientist. I can't unravel the mysteries of the universe. I can't even unravel a pair of panties. So, these panties are your handiwork as well? The, that night, I had been chased, hounded into the Maractus Clearing Garage. Weeping in frustration, I was forced to abandon my prize. Don't you see how I felt? Believe me, I'd rather not. <laughs> I hid in the garage for a short while. Then abandoning the panties, I made for home. To avoid the office where the girl works, I went towards the south entrance. 
when I saw them hanging there on a clothesline by a giant mansion. A giant pair of panties! Apparently he didn't know these bloomers belonged to the mob. I had them safe in my pocket, ready to take home. When I stumbled upon a murder. The murder of Dr. Maractus. I will say one thing. Who the heck hangs their underwear outside on the clothesline? Yeah, you're kind of asking. For you're it. asking for it, like. Maybe not if you're the mob. I... Take him, I dare ya. <laughs> <laughs> I reported what I had seen, but as I waited for the police to arrive, I got scared. What if they searched me? That's when you disposed of the bloomers? Yes. It was a severe blow to the progress of science, but one that had to be born. A fascinating, if disturbing, tale. I agree. This guy is such a weird and bizarre witness. Yeah. I like him a lot more in this playthrough. <laughs> but on other, like, before I actually did the voice, he, I, I did not like him. He yeah. was kind of a terrible witness. I believe that brings today's proceedings to a close, and I'm more than pleased to dismiss this witness for the remainder of the trial. One last thing, if I might. Yes, Prosecutor Gavin? Regardless of how we ended today, some vital points were made. Namely, that the defendant, Waki Kitaki, was at the scene of the crime, and he was pointing a weapon at the victim. One more thing. Waki Kitaki has a clear motive. Indeed, the defendant Waki Kitaki is still the prime suspect in this case. The only suspect, in fact, assuming there was no one else on the scene at the time. Yet a mystery remains. The location of the wound in the victim's right temple has yet to be explained. The court requests further investigation from both defense and prosecution. Sure. Yeah, baby. No problem! Very well, this brings the trial for the day to a close. I like how- Case 2! Apollo's much more confident than Phoenix is, was in yeah. the second case. Uh, Phoenix never got confident. <laughs> That's kind of true. Phoenix is like, I'll just fly by the seat of my pants. That's what Mia would do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mia doesn't wear pants. <laughs> yeah, she does. She wears a skirt. Oh, yeah, you're right. I thought she wore pants for two seconds. No, that's Elsa. In the, Elsa. the Frozen yeah, Elsa musical. wears pants! I don't know why that article was so big. <laughs> I don't know. That brings the trial for the day to a close. Court is adjourned. I'm going to get burritos on the way home. Who wants to come? <laughs> come on, Mia, you're welcome to come. Ah, Toon Judge, be my pleasure. <laughs> Alright. Well, this case is better than I remember. It still yeah, spends yeah. way too much time on panties. It's and not my favorite second case. Oh, it's, def it's definitely my least favorite second case. But now that I think about it, there might be one other case that's that could be worse than this. Really? Just Just because it's more boring. I think this one's better than some. What, okay, what cases do you think are worse than this one thus far? Because I just feel like all of the new characters kind of suck in some way, except Clavier. Um, I... And Little Plum. Little Plum's fine. Little Plum. Little Plum. But, like, uh... Walkie's super annoying. Sticker's pretty annoying, even if he is entertaining. Mm... Um, Alita Tiala is so bland. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I kind of... I guess, I, I guess, um... I don't think it's a... I guess Big Wind Skitaki's bad... also kind of okay. I don't think it's but... a super bad case. Well, it's, it's only half over, so. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I don't like. I might. I don't like it, Harmonica Man. I might put it back on par, maybe with like Steel Samurai case. But you really like that case. I did. I really liked Vasquez, <laughs> and I really liked Penny. Which is ironic, because Penny's the only normal Penny. character. <laughs> Hi. Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Hi. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in next time. In Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, we're going to be investigating again. Mar Marty's favorite part of the big games. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Literally no one. Marty plays a trial-based game. My favorite part is the investigation. <laughs>